to Case Western Reserve. Union wearing its gray alternate uniforms, if you will. Caught down there inside the five yard line. Coming right up the middle, big hole out to the 30. This is the eighth best scoring defense, 11.6 points allowed under defensive coordinator Rick Flanders. Shotgun snap, pass is caught over the middle. It's gonna be good for a first down. Case Western Reserve right on the football here. First down and 10 from the 41. Going up the middle is June thirds of that coming through the air with quarterbacks Drew Saxton from South Fayette, Pennsylvania. This is another handoff, room to run up the middle. And a first down on the Union side of the field is Hall. He's on the near side here. Colt Morgan, a big six foot five junior from Worcester, Ohio. Over a thousand yards receiving this season. They go with Hall again. And this is a short pickup as the Joe Vanderhoof, DJ Martin, as Saxton drops back to pass, throws it over the middle complete. Going inside the 40 is playing the full game here today. Shotgun snap, and on third and short, Hall is stacked up, and it's gonna bring it. Motions the running back. Saxton's throw is complete, first down, and Colt Morgan dragging three union to continues for Case. And they go quick with no huddle, and a rush to the outside by Hall. Hall running left, picks up three or four. Coach Debelak in his 16th season at Case. Another little slant to uh, Morgan complete, and it's going to be about 250 yards, but they had four turnovers, including three interceptions from Saxton. Saxton looking to the near side, complete, and a big hit as Gilland. Terrific stat, only they've only trailed in three games, Ithaca, St. Lawrence, and Rochester. Case Western looking to get an early score here. Hall lost his footing and was tripped two at the seven. Under center, Saxon, you don't see that too often with them so far. He gets forward, and I think he's going to get the first down, judging by the clock rolling, 7.45 to go here in the opening quarter. Saxton hands it off. Hall got a, had, had some contact initially. Again, a chance here for Union's defense to make a play. Second and goal. Screen pass set up for Morgan. Morgan tried to get to the pylon on the side. G. Montgomery is going to take the snap. Fakes the kind of a push pass, and now he's being pursued. He's taken down, and let's see. Uh, reset the form. Long snapper Jack Williams, Holder, and it's no good. Holder, Ryan Coolidge, and the kick is wide. Lens. Shotgun snap. They're going to hand it for Irabor. Irabor trying to pick his way and took a couple big shots. Offensive player of the year, over a thousand yards rushing this season for IK right, in only nine games. Stutter steps and he gets out over the 25, six. There we go, quick quick snap here to Irabor. And it's it, Irabor taken down in the backfield. Of 29 sacks this season for the Dutchman. Kick away from Halpin, looking into that sun and making a fair catch is Mario for Case Western Reserve, Drew Saxton in the shotgun. Gonna hand it off with Zach Hall. Well, a team, for a team that only averages, they have 13, ball back at the 33. Saxton in the shotgun, he's gonna throw. Pulls it up in the pocket, short little pass complete to Hall, and Hall is tackled right nine. Saxton, back to pass, being pressured, spins out of it, now he's on the roll. Gillen in pursuit. The throw is low and incomplete. I believe gets some short carries. He's pretty much jack of all trades for yeah. the Spartan, Spartan team. Left footed punt, short, but it takes a case bounce, couple of case bounces and a roll. And Union will get about the same spot they got their first drive. First and only three interceptions. Again with Irabor. Dancing to the left, makes a couple guys miss, but only gets about two. Second and eight from the 22. Bellamy. His first throw of this afternoon's game. It's caught on the near side by Ross Jr. With an offsides there, we'll see uh, it was Joshua Smith. The Irabor has the first down and he's dragging a Case Western defender. Final minute of this fast moving first quarter. 
Fake to Irabor. They're looking for Ross Jr. Defender fell down, and the ball was just a little too far for Ross. Shot of the ball. Second and 10 for Union from the 36. Shotgun snap, they give it to Irabor. Irabor starts up the middle, now cuts it outside, and gets out over the 40 yard line to the 42. Cameron Brown, the son of uh, NBA assistant coach, former head coach Mike Brown, they try a screen pass and it's broken up here. And still there to break up that pass. Halpin to punt, Case has two guys back standing at the 20, they start in, short punt by Halpin. Takes a couple of bounces for Union and it's gonna roll dead right at about the 20 yard line. And that's where Case will start. Next in out there, two receivers to each side. Drops back, has time, and it's broken up. Coming up and making the Spartans. Snap rolling right, pass complete to Morgan and Morgan dives out of bounds near the first down marker. Like him before, because at 6'5", 215, you think tight end, but he's not a tight end, he's a receiver. Run up the middle with Hall, and Hall is driven backwards after he got a pretty good head of steam by conference honors. Low snap, Saxton pitch and catch with Morgan on the far side, and it's complete for another first down up near the 40 fence. These short little throws, slants, outs. Here's Hall again, but it's working for them so far. They've had the better play of the two offenses as they get out near Debelak said uh, he told his team this would be more like a UAA game than a President's Athletic Conference game. They're, they're a football only member in the presi uh, President's League. Completed to Morgan again. They go into the I know Tom Brady can do that. I'm not <laughs> sure at the college level if that's advisable as much. Well, they're obviously taking the, sh the play clock down a long ways to see what they're gonna what they're gonna do here. Little uh, out screen to Morgan again. They try to wide receiver. Oh, shotgun snap. They give it. That was a Carney, I believe, on the run. Gets to the 35 yard line. Behind Saxton, who's in the shotgun. Four receivers, now Hall moves to Saxton's right. They fake the pass and Hall's gonna run it and he's gonna be very close. I think he's got the first down. Day the third, who has, a, I believe, a reception out of the backfield. First and 10 Spartans from the 30. Under 10 minutes to play before halftime. Saxton's gonna put it up, he's got a receiver back there and it's a touchdown! Colt Morgan! Now Robinson Albrecht out to attempt the extra point. Albrecht missed a field goal in the first quarter, but he knocks the extra point through. Touchdown is Case, uh, while Union has probably more program traditional history, Case has been to the NCAA tournament two of the last three years. So a lot of guys on this team have NCAA experience. Big return for Union out near the 40. And that'll since 2006, so nobody uh, nobody in this program was, uh, was except well, for, they were in elementary school. <laughs> except for Pete Brown, the <laughs> assistant coach. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Coming out and throwing here, Bellamy connects with Beal. Really gets after he gets yards after the catch. He's someone that he's really explosive with that capacity. This is the first time we've seen Joseph Ferrara, and he goes up close to the first down. But I think he's going to be about a half yard short. Uh, yeah, it's be third no, it's about a full, one. no, it's a full yard short as they spot it at the 47. Union to the line quickly. Ferrara basically the same play and he's got the first down this time. So a first down for the Dutchman. Finished the uh, the Case Western Reserve starters here with 8.15 to go in the second quarter. We'll try to get through that after this play as Bellamy looks up top. He's looking for Ross Jr. And it's a little bit too far. Flag down, flag flagged down back near the line of scrimmage. We'll quickly give you the Case starters as they sort, sort this one out. Again, Cameron Brown, Andrew Lease, and Adam Poltrack are the uh, starters up front. Joshua Smith, Travis Johnson. yard penalty. Okay, it's, I guess it looks a lot further than 15 <laughs> yards, but first and 25 for the Dutchman. Bellamy's gonna throw. Got his man, that's Ross Jr. And he is taken down by, uh, overthrown him twice, looking deep. At the top of the screen. Here's Bellamy scrambling, trying to trying to direct Griffin Beal, and then he gets a couple yards before he's taken down from behind 
by Kaur Bellamy. And it looks like Ferreira in the backfield. Throwing it to the far side, it's intercepted. Picked off by Skylar Wattis, and he's going down the far sideline. Bellamy knocks him out of bounds. But a big play is Skylar Wattis. The 15 yard line and Union's defense backed up, has to make a play here. Here Saxton has time, throws it over the middle, has got a man wide open. And it's Morgan into the end zone for a touchdown. So, and they, as you said, I think the, the crowd is stunned here at Frank Bailey Field. As the kick is up and good, 14-0, Spartans on top. Daring at an even bigger deficit. Remember, Case missed a field goal on the opening drive, so they've had three chances to score. Kickoff taken on the far side at the 10-yard line. See what kind of position Union can get here. Some room to run out to the 30 and getting out near the 35. That was uh, Mark Zazaro, the junior. Run the clock a little bit, give the defense some rest, but obviously you want to score a touchdown. Bellamy's looking to do something here on first down. Bellamy looking for Ross Jr. and he throws it past him on that far side. The two teams left in the country. I mean, there's a lot riding on this game, obviously, as they hand it off, coming to kind of a counter play. I think that's Irabor. Yeah. And he stacked up after maybe only a couple yards. Field, I thought there, although there is there's still a crystal still out there. Coming to the near side and the breakup. They're looking for Sermon. Turner standing at the 26 yard line. Halpin a nice end over end punt. Fair catch called for and made at about the. So we'll, see, we'll see if the Union defense can make a play. I mean, all season long, this defense yeah, has been really, really good. And <laughs> this would be a great time to get a turnover. You took the words out of my mouth. The defense that's had 16 interceptions this year, 29 sacks, averaging just. Under 12 points per game allowed. They've already allowed more than that here in this first half. There it is. It's an interception. Steve Sheridan dials that one up. It looks like it is. Play there by a senior, but now the offense has to, co has to cooperate. They have to capitalize on that chance. First and 10. They fake the handoff to Irabor. They get it to Ross Jr. He makes a man miss at the 30. Steps back inside and is close to a, well, no, he's got a first down. Snap, they look out to that side, but this is Beal. Beal's got some blocks out there. He's got a first down, and he's pushed out of bounds inside the 10. Union will have it first and 405 to go in this first half. Here's Irobor. Squeezes through, and he is down at the one. Somehow made his way into the line of scrimmage and then out the other side and landed just before the line of scrimmage. Union's gonna hurry to the line here. Second and goal. Bellamy still in the shotgun. Here's Irabor. Irabor trying to dance outside and he is tackled. So you have two potential running options. is gonna keep it. Trying to dance outside but Case has it dialed up and Union's gonna lose about three or four yards. Back to the Christian. From the right hash, the kick is up, and it is good. So Halpin knocks through the 22-yard field. Two touchdowns to win, so basically uh, Union still got to score a couple touchdowns. Halpin to kick off. Union will receive in, in the second half, but right now it's Case getting the ball at the 10-yard line with two minutes to go in the first half. And good somersaulting work. his way out over the 30-yard line play and a turnover from right about the side of this spot in the field as well Saxton low snap he's gonna air it out here Morgan runs over the defender and he goes out of bounds oh my goodness that was Bolt Morgan two receiving touchdowns in this first half the six foot five junior receiver from Worcester Ohio he's got 10 receptions for 137 yards so far today it's a good stop on first down for the Dutchman. Spinning out of a tackle. Last touchdown was a 30-yard strike from Saxton to Morgan going this way. Little swing pass to Day, who steps out of bounds. Pickup of two or three. I don't know who that helps there by going out of bounds. I mean, obviously you stop the clock for Case Western, but if they can't convert on this third down, now all of a sudden you could potentially give the ball back to Union with a little bit of time on the clock. So obviously this third down is important for both teams here for Case Western Reserves probably getting a field goal range and the Union 
to try to get him off the field and try to get the ball back. Yeah, who that helps will be determined by how this play goes. <laughs> this may well be four down territory as well for the Spartans with third and six here from the 34 yard line. We saw last time they had third and medium range. They went deep for the touchdown. We'll see what they do this time. Morgan's on that far side. They look for a, another little bubble screen and uh, going out of bounds before the first down. Now motions to his left. Saxton uh, caught on that far sideline. What a captain's with a fresh set of downs at the Union 25. Snap, Saxton looking up into the end zone, and he was looking for Morgan, who got a hand on it, but uh, couldn't get to it. putting up against Morgan. Now coming up with press coverage here on second down. Second down and 10. Saxton flushed away, throws off his back foot. He's got Morgan, who's pushed out of bounds by Scadlock. Hall in the backfield with Saxton. Low snap, Hall up the middle, lots of room to run, and he's got a first down at the 10 or 11 looking to the sideline. Up the middle goes Donald Day, and he is down at about the two or three. They gotta hurry up here, 30 seconds. They only have the one timeout. They get to the line, they move Day, they snap it. There's Day, and Day is into the end zone for a touchdown. Case Western. You saw a lot earlier in the game. We haven't seen much of the run in the last couple series, but they get down towards the end zone. They punched in the extra point now, 21-3. The Spartans on top of the Dutchman. With 22 seconds left to go. And this has already matched Union's high in terms of points allowed in a game. They gave up 21 to Buff State. And, or no, I'm sorry, 21 to Ithaca. 31-21. Well, it's whatever whatever it's been this has been this <laughs> is right. this is this is unfamiliar territory for union and i think for head coach jeff Behrman, i think halftime cannot come soon enough for this team because they have a lot of things they need to work on on the uh second half here because this is not what the script was supposed to be for the dutchman in this first half of play they've been really dominated on the defensive side of the ball the defense or the offense has done pretty much nothing and I'm, I'm assuming here they'll take this kickoff. Once they run it back, they will just take a knee and, and head to the locker rooms from there. Yeah, I, th I mean, I think Case came out with that first drive. That was about seven minutes. And uh, kind of, even though they missed a the field goal, they set the tempo for how this first half was going to be played. Robox is taken down at the 27, the 17 play. seconds to go. You uh, don't turn the ball over. No, they're going to run it with Irabor. And Irabor is met and pushed back, held up by Andrew Lease. And that'll be the final play of this first half. So a half that was dominated by the visiting team from Cleveland, Ohio. Game averaging this season. Big third and two here for the Dutchman. They are going to run it with Ferrara, I believe that is, and he's going to get right up close to the line before being pushed back. Looks like he should get it. They'll stop. Really tackle you. They almost kind of stand you up and wait for that whistle. It's happened a couple times here. This is Ferrara running to the left, and since he was in the pistol, had to go a long way just to get to the line. Came about because he was around NBA guys because his dad was the coach of the Cleveland Cavs growing up. Pass over the middle, and it was almost intercepted by DJ Wolf. Certainly not his sharpest game. Throwing it, and it's behind Ross Jr. Looked like Ross Jr. was open. Halpin to punt. Case Western's returner standing at the 20. They got two back there. He got close to a block there, looking right into the sun and reaching up and making the catch was Marion and the Spartans. 
up the middle. They go and run. Couple yard pickup there, and the short out is caught by Witty. Witty running for the first down. He's tackled by DJ Martin and Martin offensive line as they've given Saxton time to throw. Run up the middle with Hall. Couple, you no, know, they've already had an you know, eight or nine minute drive in their first one of the game, so they can certainly eat the clock up. Hall again, and he's taken down in the backfield. Have been doing in this game these little outs and slant passes, so look for one of those. Saxton, time to throw, now flushed out, rolling to his left, being pursued, stepped away from D. Caterino and goes out of bounds. Here for the Spartans. This is Travis Johnston, who's also a linebacker. Left-footed boot, he puts a good foot into it, and Faya called the fair catch, and it drove him all. Long completion to him. They give it to Erebor, still trying to get that rushing game going, and it just may not be working for you here today. Well, and uh, at some point you gotta take a shot because you're down 21 to three with 8.13 to go. Erebor again up the middle. Clock, of course, this is an important play. We're already midway through this third quarter, however. Bellamy has some time. It was knocked out of his hands. And the ball falls incomplete. I don't know if he just actually lost. The returners who are standing at the 45 are trying to shade the sun. Good boot by Halpin. Sends him all the way back. And a fair catch made by Robina. Short field for the offense. And unfortunately, you don't want your defenders to feel like they have to do that. Pressure on Saxton right away. And he goes down. And he is staying to be out. Changes things a little bit. Although this is a senior coming in. He's running right up the middle. Designed run, and Dan Gioso drew Saxton. Coolidge trying to run it again, and it's knocked out. Ball's out, Union's got it. The Dutchmen have it. Well, there's been no indication yet. Now there is Union first down, and that all stems back to See what they do, first and 10 for the Dutchman at the Case Western Reserve 31. They do throw it to Ross, a little short pass over the middle. Now he's making moves over by the far sideline. He's got a first down inside the half to go. Four, uh, three receivers for Bellamy. Fakes the handoff to Ferrara. Now he's looking for Beal in the end zone. Touchdown, Griffin Beal. A 17-yard touchdown strike from Bellamy to Beal. And it is 21-9. Case Western Reserve leads it, and the Union fans are back in this game. Well, I'd say a two-play drive is about as good as your response as you could possibly ask for. Two yards, two plays, 31 yards. Helping in now for the extra point to make it an 11-point game. We've seen Union's had some trouble on extra points this season. But Halpin kicks that one and puts it through. So 21 to 10 is our score. And that is just what you has got some momentum, but they just got to keep it going here. And it starts with this kickoff return. Halpin puts the boot to it. Short kick. Caught at the 11. And bringing it out to the 30 is uh, 21 to 10 Case Western Reserve. Saxton takes the snap. And taken down in the backfield is Hall. 11 catches in that first half. Saxton, short drop. Throws it over the middle and it's incomplete. He was looking for Robine. Donald Day in the backfield. Saxton has some time. Throws it, caught for the first down. Saxton with a lot of perseverance to hang in there and find Chase Witte and get a fresh set of downs. And that was a big one for Case Western Reserve. Now they go quick in the no huddle going back to the rush and getting a couple of yards on first down. That's dumb. All right, letting the play clock run down low. Here's Day again, and Day is out near a first down. I think they're going to give it to him, even That's though I think he didn't take the play clock under five seconds. 
Snap, throw complete. Short pass. Pick up a five. Second and five. Hand off for Day. Day stutter steps and then he's driven back as Union's defense gets there. Shotgun snap, Saxton looking to the near side and it's in and out of the hands of Robina. And it'll bring up fourth down. Make sure they, yeah, they gotta make sure they punt it too on fourth and four. Johnston has had a nice day, left footed high hanger and takes a sideways hop which benefits Case Western because then it'll roll dead at the four yard line. And so once he gets the ball. Two receivers, Irbor in the backfield. They're gonna take a shot with Ross Jr. and it's behind Andre Ross Jr. Not gonna be they won't stop trying, I'm guessing. Irabor Balls up out. the middle, the ball is loose and I it's think recovered by Union's Union. got yes. it. Wow. Third down, Irabor trying to bounce it outside. He gets to the outside. He's got a first down, I.K. Irabor, and he steps to right on your screen. They fake with Irabor. Bellamy floating it up there, and they got a couple guys in the area, including Finn Duran, who through the year. That's pretty much 63% last year. Caught with Ross Jr. Slant makes a man miss. And now he's taken down by the entire secondary, including 10 Dutchman. Clock becoming a factor here, 14 minutes to go. Bellamy's gonna put it up, he's got a man, Beal, to the 30. There's a flag down. Back. Case has got a man down on the field, down where uh, Taking the handoff, looking back to this near side. It's caught by Beal. Beal, instead of going out of bounds, turns back in and gets a few more yards. Union fans are hoping for two touchdowns, but <laughs> they got to get going here. 12.55 to go. Looking to the near side again. It's caught. That's a great catch by Griffin Beal. That ball was not exactly well. Ball at midfield. They fake the handoff. Bellamy looking for Ross Jr. And he's a little long again. Here, boy, oh boy, they have had him open. There's Beal again. He makes the catch. Another circus catch by Griffin Beal. Man, he has been a savior for Union here. Bailey Field. Fake the handoff. Bellamy looking for Ross Jr. again. It's complete. Bellamy's down over here on the other side of the field. This time they hand it off with Irabor. Irabor still on his feet. Pushing forward. Goes to the blow the whistle. Gets himself. Beal is back in the game at the bottom of your screen. They fake the handoff. Pressure's coming. They look it for Beal. Touchdown. Griffin Beal. For the second time this afternoon, Bellamy finds Beal. Three seconds. Has Irabor, can he get in? Nope. And Irabor's held out of the end zone on the two points. Sense has to make a play, try to maybe get a three and out here and try to get the ball back, keep that momentum going. Alpin boots it, will be caught at the 12 yard line. Running up that right side and going up to near the 30 yard line. Is three yards and eight plays for 29 yards, two punts and a fumble. Run up the middle with Hall, I believe that is. And he's going. Hall's got room to run. He's near the first down marker and he's going to get there to the 40. Let's see if Saxton's going to put the ball in the air here. He's got four wide receivers. Fumbled it. Then uh, Hall tries to make the best of that play. He gets back. I don't know what was said, but. Forty-three. It's the way around it. A stupid penalty for Union. Saxton throw is batted down. Well, Union. They fake the handoff. Throw it back for Morgan. 
Morgan makes a move. He's got a first down. He goes inside the 25 and is taken down around the 20. And now they got to kill him with a field goal. That's the, the, the goal for the off the defense right now. Here's Donald Day. Either that or they got to force a fumble. I imagine a couple of turnovers. Here's Saxton looking at that far sideline and he throws it out of bounds. Saxton. Throws, it's intercepted. Oh no, they say incomplete. One field goal today. Union almost jumps off sides. The kick is blocked. Blocked. And it rolls into the end zone. The field goal is blocked. I think that was DJ Martin who came back in half to cut the lead to five. Faking the handoff, Bellamy, a flag flies. It's gonna be a hold, most likely on Spencer Crystal. Crystal looks at the referee and says, what did I do? Now for the Dutchman, with 7.09 to go in this game, Case Western Reserve leading 21-16 in this NCAA tournament game. Bellamy, pass complete. That's uh, Beal, I believe. We saw Union afternoon, although they've been looking the way of Ross Jr. Just haven't really been able to connect deep. Here's Ross Jr. Makes the catch. Let's see where they spot him. That should have been a move a little quicker here. Clock not really a factor. Is that a long out goes way over the head of Griffin Beal? Bellamy threw it over the head of second down and 10. Ball at the Union 30. Bellamy, they're going to hand it off with Ferreira. And Ferreira, I don't think you're in four down territory on your side of the field here yet. It's Ferreira. Ferreira's going to be stopped. Don't like that call. Five seconds on the play clock. They snap it. Ferreira, and he's got the first down. Boy, oh boy. Not by much. They're going to hand it off. And Ferreira's got a big gain out towards mid. They change it. Yeah, three, 15 seconds on the play clock. Here's Irobor. Big hole for IK. And he's got a first down to the 36. The run was about to pop here. 2.40 to go. They fake the handoff. Bellamy looking for Ross Jr. Touchdown! Union College! Bellamy finally connects with Ross Jr. And the Dutchman go in front 22-21 with 2.32 to go. I was going to say it before the play. I said they're running it, they're running it, they're running it. It's game. They haven't been getting these plays in. Coach Behrman, I think almost every other play is still in the uh, in the playbook here. Certainly not a good thing. They're going to look to Beal. Beal made the catch. Even with the pass interference. The flag went after losing last week against Carnegie Mellon by that same score. Short kick off by Halpin. Short kick taken at the 16 by Guy Montgomery, and he's out over the 30-yard line. Alive. Getting excited. Saxton, he's going to take a shot down the field. And he's looking for Morgan incomplete. Fake the handoff, throw it back to Morgan, and he's tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Winner goes to Salisbury, Maryland. Saxton. Pass is complete. He'll be short of the first down. 154 to go. Can Union make one play to win a game? This is the play, fourth down. Saxton, handoff, he's not gonna get there! He is not gonna get there! The Union defense knocks down Donald Day. I mean, he had no shot on that play because Union stuffed it up the middle. Here's Ferrara. Ferrara pushed back, and a timeout. can surprise him. They're going to run it with Ferrara. He's got a big hole. Close to the 30, timeout, Case West. From the Case 31. Ferrara's not going to get it. Ferrara's going to be stacked up and dropped in the backfield. 
So let's see when they start that play clock. They just started it. There will be under one minute to go. It's going to be fourth down. 45 seconds will be zero on the play clock. So does Union take it down and take a timeout of its own before this fourth down? I would imagine so. That would make sense. The question is here, do you go for it? Do you punt the ball away? Do I mean, you, if, you, yeah. if you punt it, I mean, at best you gain probably 20 yards. I mean, they're probably not going to down the ball inside the 10-yard line. Maybe they do, but I don't know how much well, you right, gain from right. punting the ball away at this point. Right. I mean, I think the winning play is to go for it and get the first down. And you take the time out with 45 seconds to go. Not to mention, if you punt. Next well, to this Bellamy. is it. Uh, Case Western has a dynamic offense. Union's trying to keep it off the field here. Fourth down, oh, and that's going to be dropped in the backfield. Cameron Brown. and then Right now. He's the guy to watch. Saxton. Snap. Stepping up. Was he out of bounds? Referee dropped both, the hat. Both hats are off. And they say incomplete pass. Only rushing four. Morgan at the top of the screen. Sexton's going down. And they got to get to the get to the line of scrimmage. Clock's rolling, 25 seconds. He can't really spike it. Yeah, he does, he does spike it. Play the game. Fourth and 12. From the 37, Saxton trying to put something on it. It's intercepted. Intercepted by Joe Vanderhoof. And that'll do it. Union's going to win this game 24 to 21. What a game. What a comeback from the Union. Union's going to take one knee here with 17 seconds to go. And this will do it. What a contest between these two teams. Union is going to go to 11-0. First NCAA victory since 2005. And the Dutchman will advance to play Thanksgiving weekend down in Salisbury, Maryland against Salisbury, <laughs> <laughs> the Seagulls.